Huh? In love? Well, I thought I was once or twice. Like I said, back when I was a little younger and a lot stupider. You, uh, know about Addy. I told you I was sweet and I, but at the time it felt like love, at least. Or what I thought love was. When you separated us and she ended up marrying some courtier. Well, you know how that ended for her too. There uh, was another lass who turned out to be trouble, lust or infatuation. That one might have been, but I definitely would not call it love. What about you? Have you ever been shot with that arrow? You make me sound like a right libertine. Something I find myself moving away from daily. <laughs> I think we're beyond you needing to ask me about that now, but I... What is it you want to know? Well, uh, I had it stuck in my head that I'd save her from her father's plans. I convinced her to run off with me. <laughs> what a fucking idiot I was. I had myself believing that this noble girl, who was used to fancy things, would be happy in a tent on the road. Then, it turns out Lemkill, that prick, told Brynjar, he saw me sneaking away with her with all my shit in a pack on my back. I should probably thank that bastard for that if I'm honest. Brynjar, he called up to us before we got very far and convinced her to go home. Told her the truth. That life on the road was shite, and it wouldn't be like either of us that are stuck in our heads. He was furious because he fucking knew that I fucking knew it too. And the truth is, I'd already realised that we were making a mistake by the time he showed up. Except I was convinced that I was in love. And this shouldn't come as a surprise. But I was too hard-headed to admit that he was right. <laughs> what can I say? Someone might have better luck moving a mountain than changing me mind when it's set. I've been trying to sort that out since seeing her again, but no. No, I don't. I, I care about her and I, I always will in a way, but... If it was ever love, which given how young we were, who can really say? It's not like that anymore. At least definitely not for me. Not to mention, well, if I'm honest... There's someone else I can't stop thinking about. Even if I could go back to the past, I wouldn't want to. Not when something, or someone rather, is standing right here in front of me and has all of my attention. You don't need to say anything. I answered your question. Can I ask you something personal in return? I couldn't help notice that you seem to be getting close to the gobshite, I mean, Brynjolf. And I was wondering if it was strictly business. I mean, uh, for the guild, or uh, do you have feelings for him? I mean, personal feelings for him, uh, personally, uh, shit, I'm, I sound like a babbling idiot. <laughs> really? Oh, well, that's a fucking relief. There was something then. I, I see. So, no matter what there was between you, what you're saying is you're not with him now, as in a uh, seeing him personally. Well, I have to admit, part of me has been afraid of you were with him. I mean, I knew he was interested and. He'd been a fool not to be, but cause that night you asked me to wait and uh, it took me a moment to realise you weren't meeting him for guild business. I thought, well, after that night I thought I'd missed my chance. Good then, uh, that leads me to my next question. So now that you finally know it's not Addy, or anyone else from my past for that matter, that's been on my mind. Uh, what do you mean it doesn't feel that way to you? And? That's just it. I can look Addy in the eyes and listen to her without worrying that I'll stick me fucking foot in me mouth if I try and talk to her. I can laugh with her 
because I don't have to be afraid I'll get distracted by her smile and be caught staring at the way her lips move. I can stand beside her, close enough to touch, without being afraid I actually will. Because, shit, well, because, because no matter what I felt for her, ten years ago or even today, I've never once come close to losing control with Addy. I don't need to maintain my distance. And I don't worry if I stand too close that I'll be tempted to pull her into my arms. Don't you understand? It's because she isn't you that I can do all those things. But with you, I can't, because every day that I'm with you pushes me a little closer to the breaking point. Every time I stand beside you it gets harder not to shift closer and pull you into my arms. And every time I am close enough to look in your eyes all I can think about is asking if I, if I can do something that I've wanted to do for even longer than I fucking realised. I've thought about it so often and imagined it more than I ever should admit. And sometimes it feels like I've gone half mad from how often it's on my mind, but can, can, can I kiss you? Fuck me. I don't want to wait anymore. I need to know if you taste as sweet as I imagined. <laughs>